going to discuss the VAMP software now that that's installed, well as well as the driver for the X MIDI. I assume you can probably handle all that by yourself since most of it's outlined in user manuals and whatnot. <coughs> VAMP software, first screen is the configuration screen. I'm going to mostly go over the stuff that most people would not know. Um, you know, you got the OK button, which pretty much you click to accept to go in, but I'm not going to go ahead and use that just yet. You've got the model of the device that you have listed here. Uh, mine is a VAMP Pro version 2.23. I also have options for VAMP Virtual, VAMP 2 Virtual, VAMP Pro Virtual, Vampire Virtual, which is the AMP, uh, Base VAMP, Base VAMP Pro, and Base Vampire. All those are virtual. Uh, the name column, you can give your device a name. Mine is Gem Studios VAMP. Let me change it here uh, to uh, Mad Mike. Or maybe a better name would be just Mad Mike VAMP. And anyway, channel 1. Channel 1 that selects the channel that your. Uh, MIDI connected to the VAMP uh, controls from. On MIDI it's basically like networking. Each device is assigned a certain number and that number is used to communicate with that specific device. Mine's set to 1 because there are no other devices in this MIDI network. Yes, it's a network just like the internet. Uh, you have your in port which is the EMU X MIDI by 1 MIDI in. Out port is EMU X MIDI times 1 MIDI out. Digital output is uh, SPDIF or AESEBU. This is just for your digital outputs. I just chose S slash PDIF because that's one of the options. This right here activates your tuner so you can uh, tune your guitar to whatever pitches you want. It's a chromatic tuner so you can do open tunings with it and so forth. And I'm pretty well in tune. I'm playing my Kramer right now. Shut that off. You have global volume. I have the master volume pegged all the way up for the device. There's also an input gain. You have several different settings here. Studio 1, Studio 2, Studio 3, Live 1, and Live 2. They basically change uh, the stereo spectrum. Like some of them have the dry signal in the right with no effects and the wet signal on the as, as we call it on the other side with the effects and so forth and some remove the cab sim and whatnot. But we won't bother with that here. We'll just bother with uh, what I'm doing so far. Anyway, let's move on to the next part which is the uh, actual list of patches you have. Okay, this next screen is your patch editing screen. You have four little five commands up here, file, edit, preferences, windows, and help. Uh, if you want to go back to configuration, you just click windows. You can look at your librarian. You can look at the con edit screen, which is that one. You can look at the configuration menu, which is that one. And when you click OK on there, of course, it brings back up all your patches. Right here, this entire white area here, which I don't know if you can read it or not. I don't know if YouTube resolution makes it readable. You can read all the different patches that you have. Right now, I've got a nice clean base down here with a base patch, as I call it, which is just something that I start off with that's clear, no effects, maybe a simple amp and cab sim on it, and that's it. Uh, up here, it, it works like a spreadsheet. Up here, your five pat presets, A, B, C, D, and E, or patches as I call them, and they all correspond to the uh, buttons on top of your V amp, which are all listed uh, A, B, C, D, and E. It can be found between the uh, effects and amp cab sim controls on the V amp Pro. And then down one side over here, you have uh, your banks 1 through 25. <clears throat> and basically, you just sort of click on that preset if you want to edit it. Or if you want, prefer to use a keyboard, you can use the arrow keys to jump around and hit Alt A to test that preset. Like right here is a clean tone, you know. I channeled up, and then you got another clean tone that I did with delay on. And 
then over here, you know, you have your distortion. So yeah, and that's just basically how you do it. Now we'll go to the editing screen and go over the effects and uh, other settings.